Welcome FlossTube. This is Tara, the 805 Stitcher. Um, if this is the first time you're coming to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, um, thanks for coming back. This is a channel about cross stitch and I might share some knitting or some crocheting or diamond painting and I might even throw in a book review. So I don't know, but mostly it's about cross stitch. So I am going to say first off, that I apologize for any barking. Um, let's see, uh, two FedEx guys have come, the Amazon Prime guy has come, the mailman has come, uh, barking for the little boy on the little go-kart has already happened. So, um, but you know, it's windy again, so the wind blows and somebody might walk on our street and there might be barking. I finally had to put one outside because she would not stop. So we just have Kona and Molly inside and Nala is outside. So she was just now um, barking because she was back talking to me. She does that if we tell her to go outside, she'll go out inside and bark about that. So anyway, I do apologize in advance if I have to pause this for, uh, this is Kona, I can't see her, but she's in my lap. Okay, so. I got this little book um, on Clarence at Joanne's last, well, it's been about two weeks since I've been here. Um, oh, and I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving was yesterday here in the United States. Uh, we had a really nice day. Um, my daughter and my son-in-law and my granddaughter were here along with my daughter's friends slash roommates who are my daughters from other mothers. They were here along with my dad and me and Danny. So it was a nice small group, but um, yeah, we had a great time. Um, the weather was really stormy. So, sorry, I was looking. Stormy, so it was uh, it was raining most of the day. I'm looking to see if it's another delivery truck. Sorry, right, the, the window's right here. Anyway, it was a stormy, rainy day. And um, so we were able to have a fire all day, which was really nice, because that's not, it doesn't happen a lot here in Southern California. Sometimes I've cooked a turkey when 90 degree weather, so. But yeah, it was really pleasant. Um, uh, we ate about three o'clock and everything was great. I had made a few pies. I am not a crust maker. I've made crust in the past and it's turned out great and I've made crust in the past and it's turned out really crappy. So I just kind of, I, I didn't do that. I did the I bought the pre-baked pie crusts and um, I did make the filling. I did an apple pie, a pecan pie, and a pumpkin pie. So those were all pretty good, I think. Usually I'm not really great at pies, but I gave it a go. So how does everybody cook their turkey or how do you prep your turkey? Um, for years, for years and years and years, I cooked it with the Martha Stewart cheesecloth method where you soak the cheesecloth and the wine and the butter and then you put that over the turkey and then you take it off like halfway through where you bake it at a really high heat and you take it off. Anyway, that was always really tasty. I always had a nice juicy bird, but I always felt like it kind of tasted like the wine and I didn't want that taste. So anyway, the last time I cooked a turkey, I um, brined it. That was the first time. And I did again, Martha Stewart brine. And um, that I have to say is been the juiciest, tenderest, best turkey breast I've ever had. Um, it was absolutely delicious. And so you, you know, you just, I brined it for 24 hours. It's a salt and water mixture. There's all these, you know, juniper berries and coriander seeds and fennel seeds and all those things you never use, but I used it from the last time I did it. So I'm sure it's still good. And onions and thyme and it all goes in the, actually we put a roasting bag in our Home Depot bucket that we, we only use it to um, uh, put corn in. So it's not like it's got oil and tools in it. But anyway, I put the roasting bag in there and then dumped all the water, turkey in and the water and everything and then let it brine for 24 hours and cook it, you know, 325 for 15 minutes per pound. Yeah, so I hope everybody else had a good um, cooking experience. I mean, I've had my share of bad ones. The first time I cooked a turkey, um, I left all the stuff inside. I was like 23. Uh, I was like, oh, look, I can do this. You know, new boyfriend, I, 
invite everybody to my new apartment. And um, actually, it was only my mom and dad. But um, yeah, I cooked everything. I didn't know. I'd never cooked a turkey before. So I left everything in there. It actually turned out really good. It was really moist. So I think the most uh, trying part of uh, Thanksgiving for me is the gravy. You know, everything happens in that last hour. You take the turkey out and all the sides have to go in. The rolls have to go in. The, you know, you got to make the gravy. So, but anyway, everything turned out great. So it was a nice day. Um, hope yours went well too. So, uh, oh, one thing I want to share with, about um, Thanksgiving was my four-year-old granddaughter. Uh, we were all sitting around the table and she decided to, uh, she goes, uh, we're all going to play a game. And we're like, okay. And she's like, all of us have to pass, toss, toss, it was toss first, toss the fork. And we're like, oh, this is not going to end well. I'm like, how do we, how about we pass the fork? So this was the game we played. Everyone was passing the fork and, you know, it'd get to her and she's like, ah, I won! You know, cute, she's four. And then we started getting a little sneaky with her and, you know, it would go the other way or, you know, someone would hide it and she just couldn't find it and, or someone else would win and she'd get all upset or we all would win and she wouldn't win and she'd get upset. But yeah, it was so funny. We were just laughing up. I think that was the best part of the day. Just how she created this game in her mind and and uh we all participated and it was a it was a lot of fun so that's thanksgiving um we're now the day after i'm off work i'm usually off work the wednesday before thanksgiving thanksgiving and friday after so it's a nice little long break um i'm making bags of course but anyway i had hoped to stitch all day today but that's not going to be the case because i am um, I have to get some bags out. So anyway, um, I was going to show you this um, notebook I bought at Joann's. It says Brilliant Notes. I got it on clearance, like five bucks, because I wanted something to, you know, just put my notes in about my floss tube. So if you see me looking at this, or if you see me going like this, it's because I'm reading my notes. So anyway, um, the last time I had mentioned that in my stitchy group, uh, there was a, another floss tuber. Her name is Megan. And I didn't know the name of her um, floss tube, but it is Spunky Girl Stitchery. And I have since then um, went to visit her and watched some of her videos. And she's, uh, subscribe, she's great. Just, you're, you're gonna love her. Um, a funny thing that happened, I think it was last weekend. Can you just, Nala, she's out there barking. She barks at everything. Anyway, um, I think it was last weekend. And I was sitting here um, doing some, I don't know, I was on the computer or something. And I got a review on one of my bags and I'm like, oh, that's really nice, you know, and I saw who did it. And then so I, I started watching some floss tube. I think it was cooking dinner or something. I started watching some floss tube while I was waiting. And um, I started watching 911 Stitcher. That's 911 all spelled out, Stitcher. And anyway, I was watching her intro, which, how do you do that? I need an intro. I'll figure it out. I don't even know how to do that insert here. Uh, I'll figure that out too. That'd be cool though. Um, so I was watching her uh, video and I'm like, hey, that name looks familiar. That is, wait a minute. So I went to, back to look at the review on one of my project bags and it was her. She had just, I mean, she had just reviewed my project bag the second before I started watching her video. I think that's weird. So I had to, you know, message her back and say, oh, this is so funny, you know, that this happened. So anyway, I enjoyed her video. Uh, I watched it and um, that was actually the first time I'd watched her video too. It wasn't like I had subscribed to her and it just popped up. This was random. So um, I, I really liked it. And she had some, mm, I can't remember if it, I think it was Princess Diana bar, uh, doll, uh, paper dolls. I don't think it was Barbie. I think it was Princess Diana, paper doll book. I need that. I love paper dolls. Anything paper dolls. So, there she goes. I don't know. There's there's nothing out there. Nothing. So anyway, that was the 911 Stitcher. Um, Spunky Girl Stitchery. I talked about that. Um, oh, I, I'm a newbie. Newbie. Oh, I didn't even say that. This is floss tube number three. But anyway, 
a newbie floss tuber and I was chatting with uh, or commenting on Joyfield Stitcher's um, uh, post on Instagram and she had some, said something in, oh, about her thumbnail, how it came up. And I'm like, oh, mine come up terrible all the time. She goes, oh, I try to find the best of the three. I'm like, the three? Where are the three? So um, she kind of hinted me to or give me a clue to, oh, yeah, you have an option to choose one of the three. I'm like, duh. So thank you, Joyfield Stitcher. I didn't know that before. Um, I went and changed some those thumbnails. They were pretty bad before. It's still bad, but anyway. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, I was watching Creative Lee again. And just her work is just amazing. Anyway, she mentioned that um, uh, she wanted, she thought maybe she had, she had thought at 25 subscribers she would do something on her floss tube and she didn't think she'd get to 25 and she had 30 some subscribers. So she was like, um, would anyone like to do a swap? I'm like, hey, that's kind of cool. So I emailed her and I'm like, hey, Leah, I'd like to do a swap, you know? So it was a swap for her. Uh, she had finished the Kathy Barrick HL moth. I think it's the moth. It's really cool. Um, I think Joyfield Stitchers might have it behind her, the moth. I'm, I might be wrong, but anyway, I, um, I loved it. And I'm like, oh, me, 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 me. So I um, emailed her and we uh, arranged a swap. She wanted it to be, I gave her a list. I gave her a long list because uh, I have, you know, a lot of stash. But I gave her a long list to choose from and um, she, um, she kind of weaned it out and said, okay, these are the ones I might be interested in. I'm like, okay, give me one. Tell me which one. She's like, no, 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 no. So make it a mystery. I'm like, hmm, okay. Well, Lee, I, I'm going to the post office after this filming, so um, it's in the mail soon, and hopefully you enjoy it. I hope I picked the right one, but you know, you never know. So I also mentioned in my last um, video about the Ann Roberts Stitch Along, beginning January uh, 1st, 2020, and I wasn't... I couldn't remember the Facebook group, but it's R Sam. Oh, I can't. Sorry, see, I can't read my writing. R Sampler Years Facebook group. So if you go to there, um, that's where that Sal is. And so anyway, if you're looking to do that, uh, I have a new setup. I'm not doing the laptop because of the gurgling noise. My daughter said, "Yeah, maybe it was the mic quality." So. Maybe it was the mic quality. So I'm like, okay, well, what do I do? I can't have the, the my phone on the pancake bit in the mix box forever. So I broke down and bought the tripod. tripod. So my daughter and, and granddaughter were over here when I, when I came and they're like, oh, what's this for? And so we were playing with it. And my daughter had to show me how to set it up because I couldn't figure it out. And um, so I was telling my granddaughter, I said, yeah, because she watches YouTube kids all the time. And I said, yeah, grandma's on YouTube. She's like, what? Show me, show me, show me, show me. So I had to show her the, the videos and we sat there and watched and she, I, she goes, can I do one? I'm like, so sometime in the future, I'm sure Harper will be sitting here next to me doing something. I don't know, we'll see. But she was just, oh, grandma's on YouTube. Woohoo. so. Anywho, um, let's see, where are we gonna go from here? Okay, she's outside, so just think how it is when she's inside. Okay, um, hey, I did say that we might do a little book review, so why not? Uh, I finished The Cactus by Sarah Haywood, I believe. Uh, it was a wreath with her spoon, um, book of the month. And, you know, it was okay. It was okay. It was kind of predictable. Um, you know, she's she's really into herself and, you know, and then she blooms. So like a cactus. So it's, it was, it took me a while to get through it. Yeah. So anyway, but it, it wasn't bad. It was, it was okay. So the next one I'm reading is The Hunger. The Hunger. By, who's this by? Alma Katsu. 
the hunger. And I'm just going to read a little bit about what it says. Um, I just started it. So it says, a tense and gripping reimagining re of one of America's most haunting human disasters. The Donner Party with a supernatural turn. So it's like a book about, it's not about the Donner Party, but like if there was something supernatural and anyway, uh, someone I follow on Instagram does like book club monthly things and this was in her November and it sounded pretty good. She and she had good things to say about it. So that's what I'm reading now. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully that goes faster than the cactus. Um, okay. So that's kind of the life portion, I believe. Mm. Um, let's do mom's corner. Uh, I pulled these out because of course I'm going to be doing Christmas decoration, decorating. So this is Christmas house. That's what it says. What time what does she look what year she did it? Well, full face. Uh, she doesn't have the date on this one. But I love this with all the hardanger and the tree in the background. I yeah, this I mean this just has memories all over the place for me. She got first place at the fair uh, in two thousand three. So look at the framing on it. It's just gorgeous. So this goes up at Christmas time here. Um, story on this, my dad was going to give it away. I'm like, oh no, that's not going to anybody but me. So yeah, um, it's just beautiful. Look at that. She did a lot of hard anger. I have not attempted hard anger. I don't think I will. Let her have that glory. So that's Chris. I don't know if that's the title. I don't know who the maker designer is or anything, but hey, if you know these ones from mom's corner, if you know who the um, designers were or what the pattern is, drop me a comment because I, you know, I'd like to write it on something and be able to pass that on. I am going to get that, um, what was it? The red and yellow one framed. So I'd really like to know what that is because that was from 1971 or 72. So who knows, but Christmas house, gorgeous. Um, the next one is, this of course is a Sharon's bush. Um, and that's the toy gatherer. My mom did a lot of shepherd's bush. Um, let's see if you can see. It's heavy. Beautiful framing. It's just, it's just gorgeous. I love it. Um, this was always up at Christmas time as well. So it goes up at my house at Christmas. It's the shepherd's bush, the toy gatherer. She also got first place on this one. I think it was 2002 or she did sign this one. She signed, oh, she's, that's when she started signing at Nana, but she did this one in 2001. She got first place in 2002. Beautiful. Thank you, mom, for all the stuff that we put out every year. So that was mom's corner this time. I pulled those out, cleaned them up because they're going to go up this weekend because all the Thanksgiving stuff will be um, going away and Sunday because Danny works today and Saturday and he's off Sunday so he doesn't know it but he's putting lights up and bringing the tree down. He might argue with that. Oh, my one day off, you know. Oh well. It's got to be done. You got to do it. I do it every weekend after Thanksgiving. There's, you know, there's no waiting. The lights might be able to wait till he has three days off but nope, the tree has to be up. Hi, Kona. <laughs> Oh, is here. You want to get up here? Come on. Come on. Get up. Come on. Get up. Oh, there she is. Here's our Kona. Oh, here comes Molly. She's jealous. This is Kona. This is our Rhodesian Ridgeback. Actually, this is Danny's son's dog. But she is just a lover. Huh. You're not. Okay, come on. Down now. You got your five minutes of pooping. Okay, down now. Oh, ooh, you stink. Down. Down, 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 down. Okay. All right. That was Kona. Molly wants him, but she's too short. So, okay. Um, let's see. What's next? I have whips. Whips are next. Okay. 
Um, first time I have, um, I'm having eggnog. The day after, you know, as soon as Thanksgiving over, it's eggnog season. There may be a little brandy in here because it's way after noon. So, anyway. Mm. I love brandy. I, I mean, <laughs> eggnog. I know some people don't like it. It's like, ew, but I love it. Cut down a lot of it. Just, because it is really rich. Okay, my one of my plans last time was um, to start the birth announcement for my grandson that's on the way. And that was Heart and Hand, Wonderful Life. So I'm doing it, like I said, I just decided to go ahead and do the overdive, not to, just because I have them. And there's, it won't use a lot of them, but rather than to go through my DMC, which is a mess, that's one of my my goals for 2020 is to get the my gloss organized. Maybe the Excel spreadsheet or something. I don't know. I'll watch, see if any of you guys have any ideas. But wonderful life. Um, and I have a small start on that. I have this huge piece of fabric. But anyway. There you go. It's kind of cute. So I worked on this one night. That's a little raccoon. He's gonna I don't know what this is. This I thought it was some kind of animal, but I don't know. Oh, it's a flower. When I was doing it, I thought it was something else, but it's a flower. So, how wonderful life is. So that's a small start on that. That's now in my whip pile. Um, so nice, I have the table, the leaf in the table, so it's huge. So I don't have things on the floor or anything. I might have to leave this this way just because I have a more room. So, oh, here we are. The nemesis. But we're getting there. So, just a reminder. This is Little Pond Birth Record. Hmm. So... I don't think I'll get it finished. I do go to my stitchy group tomorrow. We have an extra one because there's five, five days, five Saturdays in November. So we're doing an extra stitchy group. And this is when you know you have a problem is that I really need to have my hair done. And I was supposed to go Wednesday night, but I just had too much to do. I was still making pies and I'm like, I can't do that. You know, cause it's a three hour ordeal. So I called to reschedule and she's like, oh, you can come in on Saturday. And I'm like, do that let's push the other hair to wait I need to stitch with my friends so anyway that's pretty funny um so here we are oh we're getting there so this corner is pretty much all done there's just some white dots like I don't know I might leave them out no one will know um let's see I can't really see this is a frog up here this is a frog down here this section is pretty much done. I have a few things to enter. Um, I have to finish this little giraffe in here and some of this green. Uh, there's a turtle over here that I have to do. But, you know, it's getting there. I definitely, you know, it'll be done. It'll be done by the end of the year. I still haven't gotten my toes done though. So, little palm birth record. My nemesis. I work. I work on this at lunchtime. I work on this when I'm not um, working on bags at, in the evening. So this gets a lot of my attention just to get it done. So aim on. Anyway, um, so those are the only whips I had. Uh, let's see. So that gets us to haul. I thought I would have more haul because I was really out of control last week. I probably bought 15 charts. And I don't know. There's something about, because I've been making Halloween bags, fall bags, Christmas bags, and I am totally ready for spring. I, I, I'm over all the holidays, even though winter's not even here yet. So um, a lot of the charts I bought are spring. Of course, the first two I'm going to show you are not, but... Um, 
Anyway, so here we go. Some haul. Uh, these are first from, I ordered from 123 Stitch. The first one is Ruby Kate Needle Neck. These are re-releases, I think. I'm not sure. But I think they are because I had to get on an email list of when they would um, be re-released. So it's just Needle Neck. Comes with all the doodads. Very cute. Maybe next Christmas. Doesn't look that easy though. It might take a while. So Needle Neck, and if you got Needle Neck, you gotta have flossy claws. Right? They go together. So, flossy claws, needle neck, also with all the embellishments. Oh yeah. So, I think this is my last Christmas. I mean, I just got this, but I'm, 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 I'm over Christmas stitching. I don't wear it. I haven't even done any. So, those two were from 123 Stitch. I also got from 123 Stitch. I told you about it. I am so excited for this. I can't tell you. So excited. I looked at this chart and this is just gorgeous. Sorry for the crinkles. Ann Roberts, Hands Across the Sea Samplers. Look at that. Oh boy, it's beautiful. Ann Roberts. So I'm, uh, I'm super excited. Um, I showed you guys that I had the bag for it, but I got a message from someone who's also doing this and she asked me to do a, um, if I could do a larger bag, which I hadn't done. I'd only done the standard. So this is the larger bag that I only probably have one for. Um, and it's not even for me. I have to make another one. I might make more. So if you're doing this out and you want the bag, we'll keep checking. I might have it. I don't know. But anyway, I was, um, I have to say good marketing by 123 Stitch, which I, I might not still do it, but, um, hold on. There's going to be crinkling. I apologize. So I'm trying to get this open. Oh, now the dogs are playing. Molly, please stop. So I was look, looking at the chart and I'm like, oh, I'll just do it in DMC. You know, I don't need the silks. I don't even, I can't even say the silks. One, two, three stitch, put a sample of the silks in here. Look at, look how shiny and gorgeous and, oh. Oh. It's on my Christmas list. I told Danny. It's like, well, how much could it be? I'm like, oh, I don't know, $75 or so. I'm really trying to convince myself to do the DMC to come up with that cost, you know. 20 bucks. Hey, hey, Molly. Molly. No. No. So, Ann Roberts. January 2020 sale. Um, our sampler years on Facebook group. Come join us. This looks like so much fun. I, I just I can't wait to start it. So. And how great that fits in there. The woman's a genius who told me to do this. I was like, I didn't even realize it didn't really fit my other bag. So it does, it's just, it's tight. So anyway, so that was my one, two, three purchase. I also got some stuff on um, Instagram. Someone was getting rid of some stuff. I got, I have to pause, throw everybody out. I got spring acorns by the blue flower. It says squirrels. I don't know what it is with squirrels. I don't know if it's Christian on Mary with Stitches talking about squirrels all the time, but then two martini stitchers was talking about squirrels, I think. But look at that. Very cute. The blue flower, spring acorns. I love that. I lost this. I didn't know where it was, but I stuck it in with some other stuff when I was going through my stash for Lee. So I found it. It's frantic this morning. And along with that order, because you can't have one, I got this. Lizzie Kate asked me about my grandkids. Because I will have one more next year. So I'll have kids, not kid. So I might stitch that up. That should go fast. Right? 
stitch that up and put it at my at my on my desk at work. Anyone with I you know all you cat, cat lovers they don't make any noise. Molly, 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 Molly. Okay, so that was my order from Instagram. And the next place I purchased from was, which I'd never, okay, I'm gonna have to pause because I, um, I can't pause. I always see the pause button. So we're just gonna have a look with it. Okay, Molly. So I bought, oh, I bought something from the Cottage Needle. I'd never shopped there before. So, um, I, um, but I was really, she sent me this little needle. So cute. Now I know all of you pros out there, you're like, <clears throat> I like size 26, size 28. This one, this one, this one, I'm like, I like whatever needle I can find. Whatever I can find, if it, you know. So I thought maybe I'll try some other needles and I did go on and order some more needles. I did another order with Cottage Needle. And, um, which is coming, that's where my out of control just went. And I got that I had did another order with Mad for Minders. Put some charts over there. Yeah, I got about 10 coming, I think. Okay, so there is the little needle she sent. It says Merry Christmas. Come here, Molly. I apologize. I really apologize. Okay, from, let's see. I don't know how to pause this. I don't want to stop it. Okay, I don't know how to pause it. So we're gonna have to deal with it. Hold on. Hold, please. Sorry, I'll have to figure out how to pause by the next time. One had to go outside, so. Okay, back, sorry. I don't know how to pause. I said to see a stop and I don't want to just stop. And they all screwed up. So anyway, back to my cottage needle order. Um, this is the blue flower, spring squirrel. I have Halloween squirrel. I ordered autumn squirrel. And I think I ordered another squirrel. So, blue flower, spring squirrel. I think this is new. Sure. Now one's crying. Okay. So, spring squirrel. And along with that one, because no chart can go alone. Um, I saw this at my LNS. And it is, let's see. This, who's this one? Oh, of course. With thy needle and thread, one of her bird plays, and it is November. They had this done at my LNS, and I was just like, I need that. And she didn't know where she could get it. And I'm like, cottage needle. So anyway, sorry, Michelle, but I needed to find this. I now want to do most of the bird plays. So I'm sure. The this is going to be titled the video with the dogs. Okay. Wordplay. So cute. All the things of Thanksgiving. Okay. So that was cottage needle. I'm going to run over to the other side, hopefully. Now the whole neighborhood. Okay. And so in my mail today, I just got an order from... Um, 1884 Stitchery, McKenna, and she had these back in stock, so I jumped all over it, and it is Queen of Hearts. Oh my gosh. Love it. Love it. Just love it. So, anyway, that was from McKenna, 
at 1884 uh, stitchery. And on we go. So I was trying to find um, some fairy tale for the semi-stained stitchers, and I'll talk more about that later. But um, I didn't find any, I did find some on primitive hair, but instead I um, found these that I had to have because my, again, my mother loved Beatrix Potter. So here's primitive hair, Beatrix Potter. I'm gonna change on the books. They have like, um, they have Tom Kitten, uh, Peter Rabbit, Miss Muppet. Um, I'm gonna change that to Tiggy Winkle, Miss Tiggy Winkle on one of the books because my mom loved Miss Tiggy Winkle. She's Tiggy Winkle, yeah, Tiggy Winkle. So that's Primitive Hair, Be a Picture Potter, it's a PDF download. And I had to get the companion piece with that because why not? But um, this is Hilltop Far Farm, 1905. I guess this was her house, Beatrix Potter. And I'm not gonna show you this whole thing, but it's really cool because they give you the picture of um, that they have and she said she just printed on the fabric. So I guess I gotta figure that out. But see, she had it um, printed there on the, on the fabric and I want that on there. So I'll have to figure it out. So, Beatrix Potter. This is Hilltop Farm, 1905. Primitive hair. So again, with the fairy tale theme, I was looking at some other stuff, and I saw this on Etsy. It was from um, Stone Knob Farm Pattern at their Etsy shop. And this is called Alvida Window, and it is a Swedish um, fairy tale. Uh, Will I ever do this? Probably not. It was three bucks. But being Swedish and and looking for fairy tales, that's what happens. You just jump down the rabbit hole. So, yeah. So that was my haul. Not bad, huh? Um, like I said, next time there's going to be more. Lots more, and if I don't stay off the internet, there'll be even more. Hmm. But I have to start Christmas shopping. Is everybody done Christmas shopping? Probably. Haven't even started. I have started a little bit, but just a few things that I bought for my granddaughter earlier in the year. So, anywho, um, plans. Plans. I think I've got a lot of them, don't we all? Um, so for December, I tried to figure, I tried to do the November 24 hours of cross stitch. And um, so I'm going to try that again. It didn't, you know, it didn't go well for November. So um, I plan on finishing Little Bond Birth Record. It will be done. It will be done. Maybe by next video. We'll see. Uh, oh, semi same Stitchers, uh, that's a Facebook group, uh, my stitchy buddy turned me on to that one. Uh, so starting tomorrow, they're doing a little event, it's called A Cup of Cheer, and, um, oh, I can't look it up, but, because it's on my phone, but, um, it's a Hallmark movie challenge, so you have a, like, a sip every time you know, um, the small town boy makes big or some, you know, um, there's a kiss or, you know, Hallmark movie stuff. So you have a drink through the movie. So you don't have to have an alcoholic beverage. You can just, um, go along and have some tea or something, but you know, I might be doing the eggnog and the brandy cause that is Hallmark movie, Christmassy drink for me. So that starts, sounds fun. Um, November 30th, so I hope to do that one. Uh, December, oh, that's December. Okay, so I've already looked into 2020. Um, again, in semi sane Stitchers, I am going to do, um, they have an alphabet soup, A, for two weeks, and I guess they'll be going through the alphabet. So you have a, you can choose a pattern, um, a designer or a pattern that starts with A. Uh, I included, I'm gonna use my Ann Roberts, because that's my sal I'm starting at the beginning of the year. 
Um, and then they have a new year, new start. Again, I'm using Ann Roberts because why not? So I'm going through those events right now and seeing what I want to do and for 2020. Um, I also want to do Once Upon a Fairy Tale. And um, you have to submit it for approval and they haven't approved me yet. But you know, maybe I'll, I don't know. I'll just do it anyway. Who cares? But you get points or I, I don't understand the whole thing and I don't we'll probably won't get as enough stitches, but I think it's just fun to um, partake. So I'm gonna do two because I know this one did not get approved because it wasn't enough stitches. I don't know how many you have to have, 12,000, 15,000, something like that. But they didn't feel that this was enough stitches. But it is Al Force Embroidery and I think it's called Monster Whale. And I already had the kit. I love it. And you get everything with the kit. I mean, it's like um, the linen, uh, there's a needle minder, all the floss, the pattern. So, and it looks like a fun one to do again. Just not a lot of confetti. I'm just so over confetti with the little pond birth record that I think this will be fun. And then Al Force Embroidery again has another one called Swamp Witch that they just came out with. Super fun, uh, super cool. I think I'll include that with this, but that's if they approve me. They haven't approved me yet, so I don't know. But that's um, my plans. Um, so now yeah, we're at 41 minutes already. Gosh, it goes quick, you know? Just flies by. I don't wanna have a long, these long, and I don't wanna have one with dogs barking the whole time. I don't know how to get away from that. It, it's just this cold outside. I didn't wanna put them out. I thought they'd behave, but I should know better. I apologize. I'm always apologizing for about something, it seems. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's about it for right now. Um, I'm gonna talk about Show some bags from my Etsy shop. If you're not interested in that, I understand. Um, you, you know, if you just want to see the stitchy stuff, then shut me off and um, I'll see you next time. Okay. But if you want to see what I've got going on, stick with me. So, um, like I said, I'm over Christmas. So I have put the last of the Christmas bags up for sale. Hopefully they all go. If not, I don't even know if I'm gonna show them anymore. I might just put them away until next year. So anyway, um, Christmas here, a few Christmas bags. This one I put up, I sold out of in probably an hour, but I was able to get some more of this fabric. So I probably, I think I'll be able to do that six or nine more. So anyway, I'm calling this Tropical Santa. This is the front, nice and yellow. And this is the back. Can't get over it. It is so freaking cute. So tropical Santa. Um, yeah, I'll have some more of those. This one I have about six of in my shop. I haven't had a lot of. No one's bought one yet, but I think it's super cute. I love gnomes and I love owls. So um, it's got the little owls on the front, and then on the back is the gnomes and the trees. Um, and like I said, I have six of those. I have two more of this one. Um, this is the Flamingo Holiday, bright pink. And then on the back are the flamingos. Now there is glitter in this, which if you don't like glitter, don't buy it. Um, and if you bought any bags for me and they have glitter, blame this one, because you just can't get rid of that stuff. And then another one that I have that I, um, is Happy Camper Christmas. This is the front. And here's the back. I think this one's been done before, but I've had this probably since June. So I apologize if anyone has done this already, but there we go. Um, so there is, there are a few that I have. Like I said, I, um, did the new bigger bag. I hope to have some of those in my shop. I don't know. Let me know. Um, you know, I, uh, they're really good for like the, uh, hands across the sea samplers because those are big charts, but you know, the standard size bag is good for just your regular size, you know, Plum Street sampler chart or even any, you know, regular size chart. 
I put every, you know put everything in here. So if you think if you'd like more of the big bags, let me know, and I'll think about putting some more up there. Um, I can't wait to start some spring stuff. I have a lot of spring material, and um, I'm ready to go. But I'm gonna get through Christmas first before I put anything else in. Um, oh, this was something I got, and I don't know how I'm gonna incorporate this. But I got the labels and I want to um, put this in, somehow put this on my bags. It's my new logo, the 805 Stitcher. So somehow the little twill tape things, I don't know where I'm gonna put it, how it's gonna work, but hopefully, you know, put my name on there somewhere. So um, let's see, what else did I have? Oh, uh, if you're purchasing any bags for Christmas, I'm gonna say December 10th is a cutoff date because um, even if I'm a little behind, they should be there by Christmas, okay? Um, and with this sale that's going on now, they're like a, they have a 20% off sale on Etsy. So all my bags are 20% off and I think it's through Monday. So um, I'm getting a lot of orders, so I might be running a little behind. Uh, my shop is gonna be closed for vacation because yeah, I'm off of work. Um, we get the week of Christmas, so December 25th through the January 1st, we, we're off, the school's closed. So um, we get to take that time off and I'm going to um, take it, uh, close the shop for vacation. So just do, maybe just do some stitching. So I might go visit some family for, for a day or two. So that's Etsy shop news. Um, again, thank you for coming back to oh, visit me. Oh, darn, I should have said this before everyone else left. Well, for those of you who stuck with me, um, I, uh, I'm i gonna give do a giveaway at 100 subscribers because who knew you could get to 100 subscribers, you know? Um, so I'm like at 87 now or something like that. So it could be soon, it could be next week, not the week after. So I don't know what I'm gonna give away, but I'm in the buying mood, so it might be a pretty good giveaway. So anywho, um, thanks for sitting with me and uh, watching my videos and liking them and subscribing, and I will see you soon, maybe next week. Okay, bye.